much bugging pretty much <laughs> but it did make me shit <laughs> I got so cranky I was born with magic power undertaken survey for many years. The survey showed that smoking related deaths is the biggest killer of Aboriginal people in Northern Australia. Now to the weather. Rain has been reported in the east. Kikibor received the highest rain in the last 24 hours, totaling 35 mils, followed by Junku with 24 mils. Oh, what happened to my cigarettes? Come oh, on, let's go off and buy some more. Come on, Lampan. Good game, that one. See that thing? That was a real good, good game. Good game. That Michael Jordan is hanging there. And that Dennis Rodman. Hello, Cindy. One year, Lampard. Auntie looking after you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who? <coughs> huh? I am sorry, Gulliver, but that tobacco just disappeared. Can't be! It was there, but he's gone now. Look! Hey, boy! What gun? Take it in. Hey, buddy, you been pitching my smokes? Not me. I don't smoke, Gabby said. Don't smoke. He make you crook that stuff. Well, somebody did, and I'm going to smash him when I find him. Hey, good about give me smoke. Ah, I got nothing. You can go store. I saw you. Yeah, but I got nothing. They will disappear. Can't be. That cigarette and all the chew back. Gone. Ah, come on, you're just saying that because you're greedy and want to keep him for yourself. Come on, I thought I always give you smoke. Give me some. Nah, I got nothing. Prove what? You're lying. Hey, don't call me a liar. Give me chew back then, uncle. Listen, young fella. You better stop humbugging me. Or I'm going to make you stop. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm fighting for. Stop, stop. Hey, you fellas, come on. Uncle here won't give me tobacco. This young fella called me a liar. And he's humbugging me for tobacco. But I got nothing. Clinton, take young Neely down to the windmill and show him how to start the water pump. Don't want those cattle getting thirsty. Go on. He got no respect, that young fella. He always blood the smoke of me. Then even say I'm lying. You fellas always worrying about cigarette. You should be worrying about fixing your house or growing your garden. Bah. Be quiet, you kids! Go and play somewhere else! Hey, what are you so cranky for? These kids always play here. It's their cubby. Well, they're too noisy. It's my weekend and I need to rest. And there's no cigarettes anywhere. And Clinton's been humbugging me for smokes. What's happened to Mudger at the store? There's not even any cigarette papers. Everyone going crazy in this community for a smoke. I'm going to ring that health sister and tell him to come and have a talk with him. But all we need is a smoke. Well, this is a good time for everybody to keep up smoking. For good. Hello? What kind? I'm good. What about you, Daddy? I'm right. Hello, Manga. Hello, little Manga, you right? Hello, Javi. Hello, Freddy. How are you? I'm right, but all these fellas gonna stop fighting. I can't sleep. <coughs> he right. That brother you will wait for an old man like me. Hello, sister. Hi, Nunju. 
Hello, Jabby. Good to see you. Hey, Jabby. How's your eyes? Good, sister. I've been beating this young fella in the cart all the time now. Shh. Hello, everybody. Jabby asked me to come over today and talk to your mob about smoking. He reckoned you're all grumpy and fighting, but you don't have no cigarettes or chewing tobacco. And that's because you're addicted to a drug in the tobacco called nicotine. When you smoke or chew, you get that drug all the time. But when you stop smoking and chewing, your body gets hungry for tobacco. You might feel sick, get headaches, get cranky, start shaking and not feel good. But after a few days of keeping yourself busy, so you're not thinking about smoking or chewing, you feel heaps better and your body begins to fix itself up from the damage caused by smoking or chewing tobacco. Smoking makes part of your body rot. It's mostly the inside part, so you don't know what's happening until you're really sick. Sometimes you can see the signs from the outside, but the tobacco makes you smell bad, makes your fingers and teeth go yellow. Lots of smokers cough, because the smoke is going down into your lungs and then you can't breathe properly and your lungs become diseased from all that smoke. Are there any questions? Sister, I've been smoking for a long time, but I've been giving up might be 10 years ago. Will that smoke kill me? Probably not, especially if you're healthy inside. I listened to your heart and took your blood pressure the other day and you're as strong as an ox, except for your eyes and arthritis. The best thing is not to start smoking or chewing tobacco. My mother's been chewing it for a long time. Yes, yeah, sister. How you make you crook? Chewing tobacco is bad. It can make your teeth fall out and give you mouth and throat cancer. When you chew, that nicotine is much stronger because it's going straight into your guts and the rest of your body and makes parts of your body really sick. If you are pregnant, you mustn't smoke, because the baby in your tummy can get real sick, and when it's born, it can be too small and weak. <coughs> People who smoke when they're holding a baby, or even smoking around kids, are making them smoke too, because there's no fresh air for them to breathe. we got to watch these kids, so they don't start to smoke. Yeah, we shouldn't smoke around the children. We should put a stop longer than stop people, not to sell tobacco along all the kids. It's illegal for storekeepers to sell tobacco to kids under 18, even if they are buying it for their mum, dad, granny or anyone else. That storekeeper can get fined lots of money. It's up to us to make sure that storekeeper's not selling to our kids. Your parents can hide that smoke somewhere. The kid can't find them. Smoke is bad for you. You kill our people. If you get diabetes, is chewing more better than smoking? No. You can still get cancer in the mouth and throat. How are you going to eat pig dinner? <laughs> Old man, where's that tobacco? You even picked him? No, I didn't get him. I want my tobacco. I've been having him in my hand and he's gone. I'm telling you to get my tobacco. I can't go without it. I've been grow up eating tobacco all the time. That storekeeper won't sell him to me. He said he'd disappear. I don't believe him. Where's that kid? Hey, go and buy me tobacco. No, but he can't buy me tobacco no more. It's wrong. You gotta cut it off. You gotta cut it off eating tobacco. That kid will learn how to chew if he buy you tobacco all the time. This is killing our people, all this smoking and chewing. Nah, I want them tobacco. I want them. Don't talk about me. No, be quiet. We're thinking like a sister. He talking about this tobacco. I don't care. You find me some. See, sister, he still wanted to make her. Mom, don't do that. Don't make any argument when we're, when we're having a meeting. Never mind. You probably should bring a man to Vega. I'm an old woman. We can't expect no people are old people, especially you, Panin. Here, Mom, take the lumber langa camp and give it a mangare. Come on, manga. We'll go along a camp. I'll give you money. Stop you from crying.
Well, that's one way to stop thinking about smoking and chewing. Finding something else to do keeps your hands busy, helps take your mind off it. Hey, look, I'm stop pumping this car. Go in, go in. Him. Hey, you used to be a basketball player. Good one too. But now you can't run fast. You got a short wind. Might be you smoking too much. He's nice and fat. I am gonna give this one to Jabi and Winju. Hey boy, you this too deadly. <sighs> you should have seen Jabi. I ran really fast. He couldn't keep up. You're a good boy. You don't smoke, and you can beat those fellas anytime in running. And that granite tastes real good. You know, I've been smoking once. That smoking made me so I couldn't breathe properly. So I've been giving up. How it went? Yeah, she right. She's sleeping now. She gonna give up chewing. We just got to be busy now. She gotta go to school and teach all the kids story in language. Come away. That's good. He tell really funny stories. Poor fellow Glendon. He never get that guana. Must be getting too old. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, you used to see this young fella run. He rubber deadly. He beat Clinton yet. He might even beat Kelly Freeman. I'll beat him next time. I'm gonna give up smoking. And he'll never catch me. Huh. Everyone will have to give up. Just not one smoke or pack of tobacco on this whole community. It's all disappeared. Funny, eh? <coughs> now it's not around. I don't even feel like a smoke. Yeah, I know what you mean. Has all the tobacco really gone? Yeah, it's like magic or something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe that's good. Clinton, you and I can help each other give up. I've been thinking we should get a community basketball team together. You used to be real good at basketball. I heard that mob from Perth wanted you to be on their team once. How about you be the coach, huh? What, for this community? Go on, young fella. You can do it. Go on, Clinton. Have a go. Teach all these young kids. That is bad to start smoking. Hey, Clinton, you reckon we'll win this game this weekend? Yeah, we're the winners now. 